Hey, I'm Nick from Dorman Products. Today, I want to talk to you about some wheel and actuator solutions we offer for Ford trucks. The F-150 is a tough truck, and so are the vehicles built on its platform like Lincoln Navigators and Ford Expeditions. Owners in snowy areas and those who venture off-road often choose four-wheel drive models for the half-ton sure-footed nature when the terrain is slippery or unstable. On this generation of trucks, the front axle normally sprints freely at the wheel hub and at the front differential. No power is sent through the axle if four-wheel drive is not selected by way of the transfer case. In order to transfer power to the front axle, four-wheel drive must be engaged at the transfer case so power can flow through the differential and the wheel hubs must be locked to the shafts. In days gone by, the transfer case could be engaged from within the cab, but wheel ends needed to be locked manually at each wheel. Truck operators didn't love getting snowy and muddy, so it wasn't long before that function was handled from within the cab of the truck. Ford elected to control their power hubs by way of vacuum actuators. They refer to them as IWEs, integrated wheel ends. Vacuum from the engine is sent to a reservoir and a solenoid controls the system directing vacuum through tubing and check valves. Regardless of your system, whether electronic shift on the fly or torque on demand, vacuum signal to the hubs is controlled in this way. The system applies vacuum to the hub actuators in two wheel drive, and therein lies the beginning of the problems that can occur. As the vehicle ages, all those tubes and fittings are exposed to UV, temperature fluctuations, and chemicals. The diaphragms within the hubs also begin to crack due to similar factors and eventually a leak forms. If a gross leak is found, the wheel hub will be locked, but normally the failure is gradual and vacuum is lost slowly. This manifests itself as a grinding noise when slowing or turning. The slowing of the engine causes reduced vacuum and the power steering pump at low engine speeds can cause enough of a drop to partially engage the wheel ends, leading to grinding as the teeth on the wheel end begin to engage the splines on the drive shaft. If left unchecked, this will eventually ruin the wheel end actuators. Dorman offers a few solutions for ailing Ford four-wheel drive systems. First is our 600-105 wheel end actuators. If yours aren't holding vacuum or the teeth have become damaged, our replacement set can get you back on the road. If you've determined that your IWE solenoid has failed, either electrically or pneumatically, we also offer a replacement solenoid. Water damage can ruin these. On many vehicles, these were installed on the firewall and water running off the hood runs right onto them, causing them to fail. If you see rusty water in your solenoid lines or the actuators themselves, it's probably coming from the hood. Note, ours has a plastic shroud on it to prevent this from occurring. And though it may sound obvious, we also kit these items together. And for that, you'll order the 600-305. This is a great option if you wanna freshen up the whole system to make it work correctly again, keep it from failing, or if you have multiple leak points. Having all the parts handy can also be nice for a vehicle that has yet to be diagnosed. And we also have one last solution that's pretty clever. If you're after maximum reliability, our OE Fix 600 405 kit is for you. This is a set of wheel end actuators that permanently engages the wheel hubs and eliminates the pesky vacuum system. Note, this doesn't mean you're in four wheel drive all the time. You still need to engage the transfer case. Instead, this kit keeps the hub engaged at all times so you don't have to worry about vacuum related system malfunctions. Many vehicles left the factory with this exact setup, so you're not in uncharted waters at all. This is a Primo setup. There are grease ports installed so you can service your hubs for long service life. Look here, we even include dummy vacuum ports so you can keep the OEM vacuum lines in place should you wish to reconnect it. The only penalty here is a small potential loss in fuel economy, but that's not a huge concern. These trucks were never really known for their fantastic fuel economy. Installation of all these parts is straightforward though the solenoid is significantly faster and requires fewer tools than the wheel ends. Wheel ends aren't bad though. You'll need to lift the vehicle, remove the wheel, and then the brakes. The upper ball joint can be split from the control arm and that should provide enough access to remove the axle from the hub. From there, you'll remove the old actuator, install either your new actuator or vacuum delete kit, and then reassemble in the reverse order. It's not fast, but it's also not complex. We hope you like this new solution, and remember, if you need anything at all, the Dorman Technical Support Team is always available to help. Thanks for checking out our video on Dorman's solutions for failing Ford IWE systems. I'm Nick, and I'll see you next time.